Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. It's your friend Dominic. I'm in beautiful northern Michigan. Today we are ice fishing rainbow trout. I've never done this before in my life. We're having a ton of fun. It's been very productive so far. Why don't you come along with us, check it out. This installment of Fishing with Dom is brought in part by Shifty Seasoning. Next time you're in the kitchen, use Shifties. You'll be glad you did. Oh, sweet, dude. Look at you go. It's a nice rainbow. Six foot works better, I guess. Yeah, I have a, I saw one immediately. Really? Yeah. Nice one. Way to go, dude. <laughs> On the jaw jacker. Hell yeah. Sweet. A little beat up. Come back. He was just mouthing it. Hope almost. Need to put my phone down and fish. Hope. Oh wow, there we go. There we go, marvelous rainbow. Holy cow. He's hooked in the side of the shanty. We're gonna let him calm down. Holy cow, that's a nice one. That happened so quick. Oh wow. Look at this guy. That's another nice one, dude. Hey, hey, way to go, Gavin. Got the sight fishing too. <laughs> yeah, they're watching him come in and crushing it. So if you're ever without a snow shovel on the ice and you want to clear off snow really efficiently I always drag my foot in a circle going outward and it works just fine you don't got to go back and forth just around so we're gonna take our blade cover off of the strike master we're just gonna set that down in the snow and then let's say we want to do it here, hit the power button. There we go. Thundered through. Ooh, Zach's got one on the jaw jacker setting up his shanty. Oh, that's a nice fish. Move the, move the rig. I got gotcha. you. Way, way to go, Zach. That's a nice one, brother. Look at you go. Look at us go. Yeah, hey. That's, that's the one I just missed. Way to go, dude. <laughs> That's a real nice one. Yeah. On the jaw jacker. Way to go. Heck yeah. I want a little skinnier. I want them like Gavin's for eating. Hell oh, yeah. That's... But this is an awesome fish. Right, right, in, right in the tip of the nose right there. Heck yeah, beautiful fish. Way to go, Zach. Thank you, Gavin, for letting me use your jaw jacker. Holy shit. Gavin is the man. <laughs> nice white out out here. He munched it. Yeah, I got in here. I'm gonna pull Hollering at Gavin and oh, Zach. You're good, Gavin. I got Trying to get a couple of beers off of them. Yeah, hey, look at that. Throw them out here. <laughs> All right, we're coming around. <laughs> Freeville gang. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you get it all on camera, Gavin. <laughs> there you go. That's a real nice one. Way to go, Zach. There you go. There you go. That's it's a beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful fish. That's gonna be good eating. It's gonna be great eating. Heck yeah. We're gonna get back to it. Okay, Gav. You got a spoon down there, okay? All right. Now here's the portion of the video where I go through the tackle box and explain some of the stuff I was using and the methods we were running through. If you ever get silica gel packets like these, throw them in your tackle box. They help eliminate rust. These are Rapala slab wraps 
fantastic lipless cranks to use through the ice for all species. Now, I'm going to show off a couple of jigging wraps. I like this bluegill colored one a lot. Then, what am I reaching in here for? Ah, yes. The rosy metallic. That's a good one. Then I've got this bone colored jig and wrap. I've never caught anything with it, but it looks really enticing. Then down there, for a good dead stick bait, I have a Northland Glow Shot single shank spoon. Oh, there's a picture of Jeff with the first rainbow trout of the weekend. Everybody loves Jeff, and everybody loves rainbow trout. Here's another version of the Northland Glow Shot spoon. And then there's Uncle Russ with a real, real pretty chrome rainbow trout. That was a very nice one. Sometimes when we're trying to call these fish in, I like to use larger, regular size lipless crankbaits like that rip and wrap. There's Zach with one of his fish he caught on the jaw jacker. Way to go, Zach. Very nice fish. Everybody loves Zach. Looking through everything. You could always have plenty of baits. Look at that rainbow trout. Lovely rainbow trout. Hey, Gavin came through with a really big one this time around. That was the biggest of the trip. He released it. What a great fish. He caught that the second morning we were up north. Definitely the biggest we caught. Here's a homemade spoon box I made out of a Tupperware container and an old pool noodle that I cut into slits. There's some jigging spoons I have. You know, I know it looks really hillbilly, but I'm really proud of that little creation I put together. I've got Swedish pimples, dew jiggers, buckshot spoons in there, and some local made in Michigan spoons too. This is what I caught my trout on. This is a small pink UV tiger, Rapala rip and wrap. Very nice, very effective little bait for all species. There I am. What a handsome blonde haired devil in the Northland. Big old rainbow trout. Here are the Fraybill shanties that kept us warm. Zach Citadel did really, really well. And then there's my little one man flip over I managed in for quite a bit. When it comes to reels and line, we're using medium powered rods with eight pound fluorocarbon. Oop, there's a, VA, a VMC spoon I was using tipped with a minnow head. That was a really good dead sticking bait. Then since I was fishing in the shanty with a heater on, it was really effective to use the Fireline Ice Edition line. It really gave them a no stretch hook set that drilled them home. And I was also using this smaller UV green tiger jig and wrap tipped with a power bait trout egg. We got a lot of them to come in and look at it. These trout were so decisive. But it was a very good weekend up north at the cabin. It was very cold, but it was good to get away from everything. Then here's one final look at the trout that I caught and decided to take it home. It's still frozen super stiff, but I can't wait to cut it up and get to eating it. Well... Thanks for watching, folks. I really appreciate it. To all my friends who came along, Zach, Uncle Russ, Jeff, and Gavin, it was a great time. I appreciate you all. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a great one.